Hi guys, thanks for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'd like to welcome you here. If you're a brand new subscriber to my channel, thank you for joining. If you've been here before, thanks for returning. If you um, want to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming um, videos and uploads. Oh boy, there's Dory. She just knocked everything down. You'll want to make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the little bell so that you'll get notifications when new videos are posted. So um, I was doing a little bit of playing around today and what I was playing with is um, a brand new stamp set and coordinating thinlets in the Stampin' Up! Occasion catalog and they actually focus on some of them. It's the succulents these cute little flowers here and here's a little card made with them and they come to separately or you can purchase them together as a bundle by purchasing them as a bundle you'll save 10 percent on them and there's a you can use either or i mean you don't have to have them together it's fun to to work with them together but you know you certainly if budget can't allow i certainly understand that but if you wanted to save 10%, you can by buying the O Succulent Bundle. So here is the Succulent Garden Suite. And they actually have a little demonstration here to show you how to create these fun flowers using the dies. You can do a little stamping on the edges as they've done here. Look at the cute little clock they decorated. I mean, there's so many different things you can do, which reminds me. I have to reach behind me here to get something else I wanted to show you. There is also coordinating designer series paper, the Succulent Garden DSP. We have some really gorgeous Succulent Garden ribbon. There's a combo pack and it includes the two rolls. Each have five yards of ribbon on each and it's the Sweet Sugar Plum and the Whisper White. And here you'll see all the different framelets. Oh, we also have a cardstock pack that coordinates with the designer series paper. So um, if you purchase them two together, you'll have the cardstock and you'll have the paper and you'll be all ready to go. And then down here is the Oso oh Succulent stamp set, which includes 30 stamps. And um, it is in the photopolymer. I want to make sure that you know that. So there, they are the clear stamps that you can see right through. And all you need to do is to use your acrylic blocks with those. Okay, so let me share with you. Let me move this all aside. And I'm so excited to share with you some of the projects that I made with it. Um, I was kind of going with a theme. I was going with the uh, Sweet Sugar Plum cardstock and ink along with the Mint Macaron which are these two colors here. I love those two colors together. And I use Whisper White cardstock to go with that. So let me show you, here is one of the flowers that I created. Now I did use the little stamp, this one right here, on the edges of all the flowers. And I layered some of them together with our Stampin' Dimensionals, put a little pearl in the center. Now this background was just done very simply with, it's called Direct to Paper. And you literally just take your ink pad and just kind of drag it over your cardstock. And I use those coordinating colors on there. And um, I love the little saying, it does have a happy Mother's Day. And um, I also love, because of you, I am me. Happy Mother's Day. So this would be a great card to, um, to give to my mother. And I think she would really love it. So it does have a couple other sayings too. It has a happy birthday to a very special person. And it also has the best love story is the one you wrote we you wrote together. And um, I, I love it. Okay, so there's that. These are the two colors that we're working with. Okay, so here's another one. Here's that gorgeous ribbon. I just kind of layered them. The background on this one, I just used one of the outline stamps from the stamp set and I just kind of made an all over pattern and I used the happy birthday. I did use that stamp as well along the edges and I mean you could puff this up as much as you want, you know. Of course, you know, this would be great if you are going to hand deliver it, but if you mail it, you know, it'll flatten out. 
and all the person would have to do is just kind of scrunch it back up again. You know, it's just that easy. So I love that one too. Here's another one that um, I kind of use some of the stamps to make a little background image on the Whisper White. I stamped some of the outline flowers, made a little tag here. And this one I just used some of the little scraps I had left over to make these cute little flowers here and a little tag. And when you open it up here, inside is where you would write it or stamp, you know, whatever. And this again, too, I used for Mother's Day. I think it's real pretty, the coordinating ribbon with the inks. I just love how Stampin' Up's inks and colors and everything all work together. And then let me show you a final one. This one, again, I did an all over. It's actually two stamps to make this. There's the actual flower, and then there's an outline stamp. So instead of using like a black color, I went with the uh, Early Espresso, which is a dark chocolate kind of brownish ink. And then I stamped over that, and I just kind of filled in you know, with the with the other stamps in, included in the kit, made a little tag with some of my leftover scraps and another piece of the ribbon on the Whisper White cardstock. And I think that's real pretty too. Now, one other thing that I used, and let me show you that in the catalog. On the next page, if you didn't want to purchase any of, of these between the stamp sets and the dies, there is a kit on page 22 and this is a vertical garden kit and it includes everything you need everything already die cut you just punch it out along with this um cardboard heavy cardboard thick box that you decorate now the stamp set is additional if you wanted to purchase that this is the vertical garden stamp set and that also is photopolymer but if you have another stamp set that you can use you know, you can make it say whatever you want it to say. And the kit includes everything to make all these little flowers. So I think that is just adorable too. And um, there is a video for that. As you can see, as I explained in my other videos, if you see anything in our catalogs with this little arrow and this little film strip, that means there is a video. Stampin' Up! has a YouTube channel and you can go on there and see that. But what I did is I took these flowers and I had this clay pot just laying around the house that, I don't know what, I had pencils or pens in it. And I used all these die cuts. Well, not all of them. There's a couple of them. I inked all the edges. I didn't use any stamps on them. I just used the ink pad. Let me get that little glue snob there. And it also has this other little flower that just kind of rolls up. And I just stuck them in there. I had this stuff left over that I didn't use for Valentine's not Valentine's Day, wow, for Halloween, I had it. And I just kind of used it for filler. I stuck a little styrofoam in there and I just hot glued all these flowers in there. And look how cute that is, a little succulent flower pot. For all of us that don't have green thumbs, you don't have to worry because that will not die. All you gotta do is just blow on it and dust it off or hit it with your hair dryer. 